On your marks, get set, go! You the Chinese Pani Olympic side, man. Why it? What is charge of us? Someone I love from a car and a salute to all my hustlers. It come on, make me a little show about Fetty. It's a young and a little son of the Kalan of a Fetty. See, one leg image of my Olympic Scotty Banjo Local Lapana, a real Salmon and Compulate of Fetty, and a son of Steve Kenya Kulu, Jamaica Babu and Nendondo Yako Lit, Spong of Bonaga Abu Casta Simi of Fetty, Nabo Wenfe Nick, Mubu and Nendondo Yako Lit, but I'm not so silly, I'm at least La Kona of Fetty, Im Zimba, Im Sumu, Baba among Labour, but then you want to Baba and Tofu and Tofu. You come to Jay, but some can't end of a job, it's the person I'm trying to see on Kakabas and Woody, he biokinetics. Somebody in the hostile to refer to Umandis, it was the Fundega Kulu refer to what I get in the lab and Kulula, it's a person of Bunzima, what a Kubela Pambil job like a Miss Elega, who wants that um denoy. Then there was the Manji in the Pana Everett University, but it's a Tata Ama practicals why the Fetch Ukatila Infusa, the Panabu Masters degree, Yayoga, exercise science and sports medicine, but Fetch. So when we will have Baranja. Let's get this ball rolling, because I'm sure you don't want to see me do that yoga, right? Then I'll see you after this. <laughs> Nishala e coli of a manje e patan. Mandi se cola or bell mudana, um, or shoni pio, or a patagashi, mok masquami, a maguis cat so glala or bellala. Ube bring out each joy in him, cause ube who in a pelum dwan. Michael, they got married. But because he is a and then with Um, there's nothing I ain't feeling at because he did his very best with Antate as in Anyaki. Upe Awami Munva, I'm really grateful Uti Ubamika, Washa to Mawam, because Nabangi Kolangi Konam Shad, and Nabangiko, Nabangi see you letting me on a shad, Wabo Baba, we can use of me, and one thing is Uti Ubaba wins a giant, Inga Ninzak. Zwana kuno kwa mi uye na mtu eme eme inkalagi na ifuko kwa nite ni tinga. Uko kwa mtu sasa jenga ndoto razi ya kumani sisi ili last one kwa zokulele na sisi sokeni. Uko mtu sana kwa kuna kwa mtu spoil umani sisi sone yonge tu wait hola. Tazine seven. Gisati la Nuguti, okay, my mom has moved out to Kaya, Usala no Munimund, and in Seno Coco, my grandma passed away. It was a sudden death. It wasn't something like that was prepared. It was just one night we woke up, she's not there anymore. Um, I, didn't, I didn't take it in that year because I just felt like it things isn't this in Zalalayo and in the July. I didn't understand till now. I didn't work for any reason. I find my variety, but when we go move, it did young challenge because I understand even when I sing with you, I be focused. I understand group ha is in the understand things. Ah, they are one and two. Everybody, a guy, we say complain and I'm.
So, um, 2009, I was doing a metric. My mom was very angry. My mom was very disappointed, but when I young kid, it is an thing that we say in the is a girl. Being a trophy as a scholar, Napala, I'm a final exam. I was seven months pregnant. Quagu, 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 So, so because I seven months pregnant and I couldn't study properly, like I was like, not good enough for me but which is more like social work, psychology, isn't it? 2011, for a University of Zulu Land, Nienza is sports and exercise technology. It was like, okay, I'm going to do this one year, then three months down the line, I'll change Nienza something else, sing up because it's going to be easier and I learned it. But I fell in love with it. It was sport based, but missing Nienza in research, where can this lead me? I saw, I uh, asked questions, and I wanted to okay, there's something called a biokinetics, which is not mainly known in our community. I saw that I was in a certain way that I would also love to do. What is the name of the name of the name of the the my national diploma, I graduated with distinction. Uh, I got a Top Achievers Award for that diploma as well. The following year, 2015, that's when I was able to do e-biokinetics, went back to the University of Zululand again to do my biokinetics. So now I decided to go to the Anyenze E-Masters in Biokinesis as well. I apply University of Bit, um, which I'm currently doing my Masters right now, Masters of Science in Medicine, specializing with the Biokinetics. Kusasa Nizoya Evet University at the Center for Exercise and Sport Medicine. La in the corner for e interview army and lines in the corner of practical army. More no goodsy, ye ready for the outside world and was goodsy, ye sees a band with the way in from buses and a corner. Man is a job by every assessment tomorrow in the Fisa Old Sugla Kilhambiga Tega Kulu, and the Gathe Apumel Lexas and Giamas Mutano O in Missela Uzo Winsaka. To make a different Ekayalami for my daughter and to make a different community because in the So it's going to give me the opportunity to make the people
Um, I've just arrived at the Centre for Exercise and Sport Medicine at the VIT. Um, I'm here for my interview. I'm really looking forward to it, but I'm quite nervous as well. So let's see how it goes. So Mandisa, thank you for coming along. Uh, we appreciate your, your presence here. And thank you for applying to the VIT Centre for your internship. So I just wanted to ask you how things are going so far and you, your studies, you on track and everything going well? So far everything is going okay. A few challenges here and there, but I'm sure by the end of the year I will be able to overcome them. Okay, that's good. Um, may I ask why you wanted to come here specifically for your internship? Was there any particular reason? I saw that um, I did my research of course and I've seen how the centre works and the fact that it's an institutional based centre so it is going to be an uh, advantage for me since I also want to do my masters for the remaining of the year so it's going to be more research based and doing internship where I'll be learning much more and then doing my practicals as well at the same time so it is an advantage to me in that sense. No, quite right. I mean, this is, um, in addition to the clinical work, there is obviously the opportunity for an academic environment. So with that in mind, um, biokinetics, as you no doubt know, is a broad field and it encompasses a different aspects of, of healthcare, um, primarily health promotion, uh, wellness um, in people who should be active and doing things to prevent illnesses. And, and chronic diseases, and obviously also for rehabilitation for those people who've been through an orthopedic problem or a chronic medical problem. Is there any specific aspect of biokinetics that, that interests you? Um, it would be mostly health promotion and being on the, the in the sense that I'm helping people in community expect, promoting health in that sense, because Finding that my background and in my community where I'm coming from, not many people do exercise and not many people do know that you need to exercise to improve your quality of life. So in that sense, me having to go in that direction with helping people in my community and having them be aware that they should be doing such things would be a great advantage for me as well. Okay, well, that's very good. So. There are different areas, obviously, as you mentioned, in, in the general community that, that one can uh, apply biokinetics. What other aspects of biokinetics do you, do you know of or aware of where biokineticists can actually work and make a difference? Um, I'm aware of the corporate environment as well, sporting fields, helping with the injury and re rehabilitation after the athlete is injured. Um, bringing quality of work in the work environment in the corporate area, as well as the cardiac patients helping people with cardiac diseases better off their life and their heart conditions. And Mandisa, we have um, three intern positions available at the centre, um, and we have many applicants from all over the country for that, um, in excess of 20 or 25 or so applications. So we obviously need to be quite uh, careful about who we appoint and, and put into those positions. And we have certain criteria, um, which would include obviously the benefit of the individual where we can see maybe we can improve um, on their skills and let them out into the world with, with being better than when they first came in. And obviously we want to see that our needs are met in terms of the activities that we do. We've got three different tasks set up for you that you would um, uh, engage in and embark on and, and follow through. And then that'll give us a sense of, of um, some of the things that we're looking for in terms of your interpersonal skills and how you do things and your training up to date, basically. Um, we don't expect things to be 100% right because you're still in training. Um, and then based on that, um, we would meet as a unit and discuss all the applications um, and then determine who we would appoint in, the, in one of those three positions. Okay, I really love the, the opportunity to actually practice and to show out my skills in terms of the practice. Centre 
ente ha holo go sebedisa sepheo sa hao go thusa batho ba bangwe ka nako engwe ho nka siemo se amangwe na ho tsitsinya gore o sebeletse go boka moso ba hao ho studye tsa biokinetics go tla go nka di le modile nne gore o ithutele yona degree e ka ba BA ka ba BSc ya movement ka ba sport science ha se o qetile he o tla tlhoka 2 years ya internship ho tla tlhoka hala di le modile hlano pele o ka ngodisa le tsa ba maphelo ma haslase tse ka ha re iponetse mathata a tla ba teng lwena o tla qeya qeya le diphoso o tla dietsa emba ha o ikemiseditse ho sebetsa ka thata ha go thibelo o ka latela yena mandisa wa etsa diploma emba seo se tla go nka nako nyana ho betere o etse metric wa ha o hantle o phase hantle ka metse le science gore o tsebe go kenela ko degree Hasad go tshiwa fill up the don'ts na tshi fill up the job application job go tshi tsatso nyaka go tshi palisele ama bursary ama leadership na ma apprenticeship ba fetse for unyaka ozayo ke tsina tsona wa go tshika tshika ka banga njani abanga kana ne abeni se ba tshole imphumelo uthi ba hambe kahle noma ke ba shawe izembe noma ke nina ke ensali ndile ku hamba ka njani lapho kana ni tshene ni ngimcaba ngeni khona lapha ngokuthusa na ku Facebook jenga manje kona ke songqeda ke abasaluma mazipho ngokuthuka My name is Natalia Neofitu and I currently work at the Centre for Exercise Science and Sports Medicine as a lecturer and I also have a private practice which I run through the centre. How are you? I'm okay, and how are you doing? I'm good. My name is Natalia. I'm going to be your mentor for the day. I'm going to be talking about what you're going to be doing in task one. So for task one, Mandy needs to perform a risk stratification of the patient to determine whether they are high, low, or moderate risk, followed by an in-depth history taking of the patient's condition. ロバレテカアイロバレテカにつさプリコンそうやずつもせんプリレオフォネラバンバフェチオフォネオマンジスイントガジェスバフェチフンゲネラパルゴンカカウェバイオケネティスバフェチチョバゲアラパナゲエ
I felt as though my emotions took over at first. Yes, um, I was too nervous to deal with the patient at first time, but along the way I found that I was able to interact with the patient. So we can go over to the other side to do a few more tests and then we'll come back this side and I'll brief you on your risk stratification okay. outcomes. Okay. okay, so the field of biokinetics is concerned with using exercise as a modality to treat conditions. So we'll do an assessment of our individual to determine what the condition is. Um, <clears throat> following that we will do some clinical tests which are relevant to the condition and then following that we will design a scientifically based exercise program on our findings um, to try and rehabilitate the individual. Okay Paul, we're going to be taking your height and weight using the stadiometer. Can you please step on it facing that way? I'm just going to start off taking your height. Okay, position your feet in a straight position. Okay, I'm just going to fix the head position here. Can you take a deep breath for me and breathe out? Step off. Okay. Your height is 1.72 meters. Sure. Okay. Now we're going to go on to take your weight. You can step on again. Facing that way. Facing that way, sorry. Do you remember what your weight was? Not really. Can I just... So your weight is coming to 82.7. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Paul, with all the testing that we've done for the baseline for stratification, I find that there wasn't anything abnormal, you were in the normal range, but because you were diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse, you are regarded as a high risk according to the ACSM. Sure. Biokinetics is definitely a growing field, um, and there's been a large interest in the career itself because there is, I mean, as times are changing, people are generally becoming more and more unhealthy and the fact that exercise is an excellent modality to try and help patients with conditions, it's been shown that biokinetics has a very real place in the real world. And then from here we're just going to go on to do a few more testing on you regarding your cardiac and a few more tests with your back pain okay. just to find out if there's any risk as involved as well or not. In task one, we saw that Mandy was very comfortable with her patient, although she demonstrated a few nerves. Um, she was able to conduct the risk stratification with ease and met all the requirements that we needed her to meet. So she made sure that she looked at blood pressure, height, weight, etc., and risk strat stratified her patient effectively. And then in the history taking, I think she managed quite well. It would have been nice to see her probing a little bit further into to um, some of the, the conditions that the patient mentioned. So for instance, the mitral prolapse, she could have maybe asked a little bit more in-depth questions there. But otherwise, I think she managed very well with the history taking. Mandisa ona le bokgoni ba go botsa dipotso eye contact ene o gona go sebedisa na hante le mokodi wa haye ha ile di biokinetics di bitso hape di exercise physiologist di exercise therapist le di human movement specialist o tla mea gore o bane le gatla o ha holo ka tsa sport o bane le kutlisiso manello se ba ka ha di ntho tsa mmele misifa le masapo ene hape o gona go tsietsa batho ma hasla lo ana sepio sa ha go phelong go Okay,
Well done, Mandy, on completing task one. You did very well. Thanks. We are now going to move on to task two, and we're going to use all the information that you gathered from task one to do this next part. So you found that your patient had mitral valve prolapse, a heart condition. So what we're going to do in this task as the first part is do a stress ECG doing the Bruce protocol. So what I'd like you to do is use your patient there. He's going, you're gonna place the ECG electrodes correctly and then do the stress ECG. And then the second part of the task, because of the history you found that he had lower back pain. So what I'd like you to do is a few tests to check what is going on in the, the lower back itself. Okay. Let's start please. Okay. In task two, Mandy needs to perform a stress ECG on her patient with the use of a Bruce protocol. She needs to make sure that she places electrodes correctly on the chest of the patient and then needs to conduct a comprehensive lower back pain assessment. Paul, can you please take off your t-shirt for me? I need to place the electrodes for the ECG. Um, can you lie down on your back? So now I'm just gonna be placing the electrodes on your body. ECG is mainly looking at the heart activity in different angles. So placing electrodes in different areas would actually look at the heart in different angles and will give you an indication of what's happening within which part of the heart. What is going to be happening there in the Bruce Modified Bruce Protocol, there are three stages. So there's going to be stage one in which the speed and the gradient will be just normal. You're gonna be walking there every, okay, the activity increases every three minutes. So it changes every three minutes. Every three minutes I'll be taking your heart rate and your blood pressure. When you're there and you're doing the actual testing, please let me know if you're feeling any chest pains, any heart problems, if you're feeling shortness of breath, then we can stop the test immediately. With what I asked you earlier and taking your blood pressure and your heart rate, calculated that your target heart rate that we, will, we want to work on is 155 beats per minute. Okay, so you can step on. Okay, this is the RPE scale. It, I'm gonna ask you how you feel from the numbers of seven to 20. You just tell me the number that best describes you, whereas seven is the easiest and 20 you feel like it's the hardest. So I'm gonna pass, start the test now. With this resting ECG, you look at the heart in a resting level where a patient is not doing anything and having to place the patient at the modified Bruce protocol where they're actually running on the treadmill. That's like giving us an indication of since the, patient, since the patient's heart is placed in the stressing activity, how does it react to that? And it gives us an indication of how to go about creating a training program that will be specific to how the heart actually responds to such activity. How would you say you're feeling right now at the beginning of the exercise? A seven, okay. Okay, remember we're targeting 155 bits per minute but we can stop the test if you're feeling any discomfort whatsoever. My choice of being a biokinetocyst was mainly due to the research that I've done, I find that it's about helping people and it's about giving back to the community. So with me having the background that I have and wanting to help people and wanting to give back to my community, I saw this as a fit career for me to get in, in terms of getting back, giving back to my community and actually being able to make a difference in someone else's life.
Okay, I'm gonna take your blood pressure now. Can you me? The stage three is starting. It's 140 over 100. How are you feeling in terms of the RPE scale? So we're going to do a few testing here, then I'm going to check your posture afterwards. Okay. Please let me know if you're feeling any pain whatsoever in your back or any discomfort. Okay. okay anything? Where do you feel the pain? Okay, as I press through, okay. Are you feeling the pain now? Okay. I want you to raise your leg, this one leg for me, relax. To raise it up, up until you feel pain. If you're feeling any pain, just stop. Okay. Please raise it up, all the way. Are you feeling any pain? Okay, relax. Where are you feeling the pain? With the other leg as well. All the way up. Relax. Okay. I'm gonna do one more exercise on you right now. Just tell me if it's easier or not. I'm gonna compress your hips and you're gonna do the same exercise where you did. And thereafter, I'm gonna do another exercise. Just take note of what you're doing now. Okay, I'm going to compress and you're going to lift one leg for me. Up to there. Relax. Again. Okay, relax. Now, I want you to bear that in mind. You're going to push my hand in that way and you're going to raise this leg for me. Relax. Which one was easier when I was compressing here or here? Here. Okay, okay. Now you can stand up for me. I'm just gonna look at your posture. Okay, so when you're doing a postural assessment on a patient, you should be looking at various parts of the person's body. So you'd start off at the head and move all the way down. So you'd look whether there's abnormalities from side to side, maybe an elevation of the shoulder, if there's any problems with the spine, um, moving down into the hips, if there's an anterior tilt or lateral tilting of the, the spine, and moving down into the legs if there's bowing of the knees or internal rotation or external rotation of the knees, and then also moving down into the ankles to see if there's any abnormalities. And the reason why we do a postural assessment is to see Firstly, if we can pick up any abnormalities just by looking at the patient. And then also it's very important to be palpating down the, um, certain landmarks to see if there are any structural abnormalities which we can pick up from, because that will guide our assessment further. Okay, well what I find with your back, with your whole posture, body posture, you have a forward head, broad shoulders, and you have a slight, slight lower doses lower dotic curve which um, positioning your pelvis interiorly okay and with the testing that we've done on the stress ECG and the Bruce protocol everything was normal your recovery as well was very much normal um, but with the test for the lower back pain the test where I did the form and force closure compressing your hips you find that it was easier for me compressing your hips than it was which means your TA activation was inhibited causing you to have lower back pain using your back more than okay, okay from here I'm going to be teaching you more of the exercises that you should be doing at home just to rehab that lower back pain and for your sessions as well 
Mandisa o ne a tlamega ba a tlhalosetse mokudi wa hae gore o ile go etsaeni go baneni ene o tlotlhoka eng e go tswa mokudi wa hae pele a ka qala empa ke rata hantse a mo tlhalosetsa ntse a sebetsa ha o le le ka leng lena o tlhoka re o bane le kutlisiso tso tlallo ka maphelo a batho ene o ile go sebedisana mmogo le ba bang ba makaleng ane a tsa maphelo my hasla lona go pula sena as long as ona le toro ene o ike miseditse o sebetsa ka thata o ka etsa sengwe le sengwe mona le faseng go pula re tsotsi ka talente ka pa bogone bo itseng ke hapeletsa go fihlalla bo tswella go bane seo ke sepheo sa hao kwa tasking ya o qetela mandisa o super patient ya hae di exercise program tse a di khethileng tse a batlang patient ya hae gore itso le pele ka tsona Mandy, welcome to the Sesame Gym. This is where we're going to be doing the last and task for the day. Um, so it's again going to continue on from task two. So what we found in task two was that your patient experienced some chest pain, and so we need to modify our program so that he, we can improve his exercise tolerance. But for today, I think we're going to focus on the lower back pain issues that he has. So for this task, I would like you to. Um, do TA activation because your form and force closure test was positive, which indicated that he had TA inhibition, the muscle which is very important for core control. So that would be your first task. And then the second part, I would like you to prescribe three exercises to improve his core and glute strength. Do you have any questions? Okay, let's start with the exercises. In task three, Mandy needs to educate the patient on TA activation and teach TA activation and then prescribe three exercises which strengthen core and glutes. I've been assessing your answers on the social media, but for you, I know, Zakul, Zakul and Pella, this thing are injection. So let me give you another clue, Lapana, who won't jump yet. And the letter is C. Again, time because it's a corner of the net. Oh, my God, we are ever careful. So when I'm on this, I'm no longer getting school in the sake of a You get to make it to jump. You say how high. Make it to squat. You say how low can you go. But right now, go for a break. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to be teaching you TA activation right now. We're positioning your feet the way that we do, like bending your knees right here, because you, you do have lower back pain. So why I'm teaching you TA activation is because we found that in the form and force closure test, you had TA inhibition, which means that with all the exercising that you do or with all the activity that you do, your core activity is not happening. So we're going to try and reactivate that right now. Okay, all I want you to do is put your two fingers, the index finger and the middle finger there. I'm gonna put my hand this side. Um, I want you to cough for me. Relax your stomach. Okay, you can remove your hand this side. Relax. I want you to cough for me. Can you feel that muscle jumping there? Okay, can you contract that slowly? Okay, but all I want you to do now is take a deep breath, contract that muscle, but breathe in and out. First thing I want you to do is lie on your back with your feet relaxed like that. So all you're gonna be doing, you're gonna find the contraction, you're gonna take a deep breath, contract there, breathe out, and all I want you to do is raise your body like that and bringing back down. Raising your body like that and bringing that down. With this exercise, because we find that you had anterior tilting, we're trying to correct your core and that part of your pelvic structure. Okay, you're gonna do that for me. So I'm gonna hold this side. Take a deep breath. Breathe ah. In order to be an excellent biokineticist, the traits that you would need would be, you'd need to be an outgoing person, preferably, um, have good interpersonal skills, 
because you'll need to be able to explain certain conditions to your patient. You'd obviously need to know or have a good grounding of your, your undergraduate studies, so um, be knowledgeable in the field of biokinetics, so knowing your chronic conditions, knowing your orthopedic conditions. Um, so you need to be intelligent and be forthcoming with information if your patient does ask you. I suppose you'd also need to be um, or be able to demonstrate certain exercises and be comfortable working with a variety of different people from children all the way up to the elderly because um, exercise helps everybody. So it's not just one certain population that you'll be working with. Okay, you can set up for me. So these are the kind of exercises we're going to be doing to actually reactivate that part in your body, the core area. And your program will also include the cardiac rehabilitation as well because we want to work everything together as a whole. And in 12 weeks time, we will be able to find a difference and see improvement. I'll have to see you like two times to three times a week, depending on your time schedule. Then we can take it from there. So, Mandisa, you had a busy day today. Um, I'm not sure if that's what you were expecting when I said you had a few tasks to go through, but um, I think it's an important exercise to do. So, how did you feel about it? I like was it. a bit nervous at first, but I managed to get through the day quite nicely, and I learned a lot while I was doing, being active with the patient and doing the practical part of the biokinesist expect. So, I kind of did enjoy, yeah. Okay. Very good. So you can see that we, we carefully selected uh, what kind of activities to do um, to cover many or most of the aspects of what biokinetics is, um, excluding obviously a corporate environment and, and too much of the sporting side, but exercise was uh, clearly an important component of all of that. So um, maybe tell us a little bit about which aspects you particularly liked in, in, the, in the tasks. Um, I would say the assessment part mostly, having to do the ECG and the modified Bruce protocol, I did enjoy that quite a lot because it was in depth and it taught me a lot in terms of my theory and having to practice so I learned a lot in that aspect and having to teach the patient how to do specific exercises, I find that very interesting as well, yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Um, confidence is also an important part of the healthcare profession and you seem to have that. So well done. So um, we have assessed a number of applicants, um, both theoretically and also obviously with the practical aspects. And considering all the things that we've done um, with the tasks um, and uh, the applications and the interview processes, um, I would be happy to say that we will offer you one of the three places at the center for you. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. I'm looking forward to working with the centre as well. Thank you. Hi guys. I'm very excited. It's been a long, long day. But I managed to get the internship that I was looking for. Quite excited about that. I am going to be able to give out to my community and help out with my daughter and my family as well. Thank you very much. Presa, Pusha, Panda. Well done, Mandisa. Re tutu le kawe na hore kanako enwe, di tutu sabo pelo, di taka na ko sadi na haneng. Ene hape di poso ta hao, wa khona hu di palama, u di beka ta sa hama onto a hao. Poto ya rona ya beke ena iso ko masilu, a riena o batana lidi lena shipsa logistiksi. Ma hasla se, logistiksi ki tama iso ya hukuka di nto, u di sedi ba kense fapane mo di bata halante ni. Le kalalena le hola hao, lo hobane rena lidi kasta ma tengata, ene hape rena lidi product tengata. Di lena ship zona, o kari chole di company nse etwana nubo Transnet, bu Imperial Gold, UTI, DHL. Ea website ng enana, mo otla fumana hoho ngata, li di chokwa sa teni. Wena netifata fela hor ona li ID, en uwa mona South Africa. 
o na le metric le diploma kapa yona degree ha ka ba gona le go sa ufumanang go pula o tshakela facebook kapa website ya rona ke santsane ke emetse ya haoputso wa sinzenga ke umphakathi ngithi gogo moshi sha madole uyazi zobiza bani ntsizo bebe kapile bakushaya ke zembe uyazi zobiza bani sisi mophuela ma cops ngithi phukiqakala uyazi zobiza bani jabo sisi halala ke uye umandisa bafethi asithole umsebenzi omusha thina sisi mfisa le inhlanhla kuyonke into azabayenza ekusasen lakhe ngithi lapho makaya nazi manifuna impendulo kuwe jambo nibiza bani mina lo jabo ke sisi sikhasa ukuthi nginikeze impendulo kuwe jambo Ikama ya kata silfuna bafetu, hi exercise bafetu, uwe hi vokta vokta. Giti umu ito lile, giti your workout is complete. Umago unga ito langa, giti drop and give me 20 push-ups. Jenga manj, I'm just kidding bafetu. Giti better luck next time. Mila kumfana kaptambu, kutu zonki ntambu, sengu umaganji. Gita katsanga nikona lapana enko jenzo kumana bafetu. Social media sikona and also on YouTube. And don't forget to watch our repeats. But Thursday, go 11 o'clock episode bafetu. Nyan kalingi chela, giti presa push-upad. Unga peg pants, pega pezu. Nyeti kazu zobu ya ninina Egu niya jala wafeti next week See you then